on Wednesday morning. First full day here in Vegas. And I'm getting up. You know, get some cardio in, fasting for breakfast. Be about 20 minutes today. I woke up at my new low for the day at a uh, 176.8. It's pretty good. Feel tight. Means I'll get to eat more food today. Plan on carping up. Wonder how much hot is I'm gonna eat. But uh, we ended up with over 100 grams of carbs yesterday. Fats are getting higher, getting tighter. So uh, let's get on this cardio real quick so I can get home and get some food in me because I'm starving. All right, you guys, just finished up 20 minutes of cardio. All the treadmills are taken, so we had to hit the elliptical. I haven't used that all for long. Just got a good workout. So, cardio is done. We're gonna go get some breakfast now and uh, get our day started. I gotta go to Whole Foods where all the bodybuilders head over there and buy up all the steak. I went there last night and they're sold out. So, they told me their shipment comes in at 7.30. So, I'm gonna head over there and load up. Lots of steak the next few days. I like steak. I'm going to clean up, guys. See you in a sec. There you go. Got back from shopping. We, uh, we hit Whole Foods and Walmart. We got some filet mignon cooking right now and some white potato. This is my first meal of white potato, so I'm pretty pumped. And first meal of filet. I'm going to eat this a few more times today. Um, it's going to really sort of fill me out. You can see my skin's getting like really thin, so that's a good sign considering I still have a lot of water in me and I'm still eating a lot, so I'm going to keep, keep on going. Um, all I put on my meat right now, I have cut my salt out. So it's just balsamic vinegar, pepper, and lots and lots and lots of garlic powder. And um, that's the secret, so that's what I'm eating right now. Meal two going down, you eat again in about two and a half hours. I don't know about you guys, but I look damn good. I don't even look like diet food. I can eat this all day. I gotta call the hotel and get her access. When her trousers are feathered. Ugh. Daddy. Elevator lighting. It's always best lighting. That is confirmed. Going up. It is uh, 9411. That's, that's real. 848 North Rainbow. It's real. Las Vegas. So you guys, this is the Orleans Hotel we're pulling up to right now. Yes, this is where the uh, road. the events held. I don't compete here. I compete at the convention center, but the bodybuilding goes on at the arena here. And yep. Norman also competes here for her finals. Uh, that's the arena right here. And then the hotel where the athletes usually stay. I've stayed here the first two years, but it's just an old hotel and the amenities aren't very nice. There's no kitchen and it's just really old. So we stay somewhere else. So now, pulling up. It's crazy, man. This is where this is this is Olympia. This is what reminds us of Olympia. So this is nuts. Your sixth year, babe. My right. sixth year, yep. This is my fourth year. It's still exciting every single year. I love it. Uh, it's like our first. Makes one. it all worth it. Like when we get here, like that. This is why we go through what we go through for months on end, because we're here with the best in the world and we do this for a reason, and not everybody can do it, so it's pretty awesome. Get out the Jay! Scuff the Jays! Fuck! Can't even tell. <laughs> that sucks. So we just ran into Jam Mannion. He's the son of the president, Jim Mannion. Say what's up to him, and it's always good to see them. They've always been a big help in the industry and helping us with the vice and stuff. Super dark. There we go. So this is Orleans. We're inside now. It's real. Mm, stopped a hundred times. Long ass line. Every single year. But there it is. A long, long line here at the Orleans to get checked in. And for some reason, somehow, Chad is able to weasel his way <laughs> to the front of the line and he's getting us checked in. So that is why 
That is why we have chat around, amongst other many other things. But dude's got a mouthpiece on. Him. He gets what he wants when he wants. He's telling the world how you get what you want when you want. It's my job. <laughs> So every year they put competitors on the elevators here at the Orleans and uh, last year I got my first elevator. So it's always cool to see this year's elevator. Boom. Sick. If that doesn't make you happy, then I don't know. Because that guy looks pretty damn good. <laughs> we're gonna beat that this year though. So we were leaving the Orleans Hotel to go back and eat. Get in the car, left my camera in Narvin's room, and she literally has the farthest room possibly away from the front desk. Like, look how long this freaking hallway is. Like of all rooms, we get the last, she gets the last one on the very end of the hall. Give me a break. Come on. I'm starving, passing for food, I'm getting grumpy. But Trying to let you see that. All right, so I'm gonna finish up this long ass walk back to the car, get home, back to the hotel, Trump, and uh, get a meal in. And then I'm gonna go train. Norman doesn't have to train today. Coach told her to take it off. So it's gonna be me, Chad, and Concio. We'll get that pump in. Oh. What's up, you guys? Who I ran into first, George Brown, my boy. Maybe some tough competition this year. You guys have been hot all year long, so we've been talking about battling it out all year, so it's time. Dialed in, man. You know we're both products, so wish you luck, man. Definitely. Get some finished cooking meal number three. I'm just freaking starving, you guys. So this is what I'm eating. It's like seven ounces of tilapia. A little over a cup of brown rice and a little bit of asparagus. I am gonna eat this, so leave me alone. Yo, what's up, guys? We made it to the gym. We're in some uh, chest and shoulders right now. Nothing too crazy, just like three or four exercises for each body part. Probably gonna do a little bit of abs. My energy levels are no good right now. It's crazy, I've eaten more food today, but I'm not even as full, so I think the food, the extra car I spent on the tablet is up a little bit. I'm burning right through that shit, so I'm probably gonna eat up even more. I know I'm gonna do steak after this, but uh, I'm gonna finish up this workout, get a little bit of abs and head back and eat. But uh, yeah. All right, guys, just wrapped up the workout. Do 24. Let's show you guys the pump I got right now. Feel pretty good. I finished up pretty strong, but feel good right now, you guys. So this is where I'm at on Wednesday. This is only three meals in. I already have over a gallon of water in me. Abs, fucking water heat. So the idea right now is to get nice and full, get as big as possible, and then I might have some water on me. We'll pull that water the last few days, tighten up. So boom, let's go. All right, guys. So it's evening time. I am taking off. I just finished up shaving and getting ready for my tan. I'm gonna get like four coats this year. It's always good to get a base tan going, that way your color sticks. I'm actually gonna wash this one off, so. I'm gonna get started early. Uh, I'm gonna head over there to the Orleans where they tan. Are we and, uh, on the inner side? Yeah, get going. It's starting to get real. So I did just check in with Hani for the first time today. Um, I have four meals in. I've done a couple of carbs almost. Actually, I've done a couple of carbs every meal. Two steak meals, two fish meals, and I've had some fats here or there. But uh, we're filling out nicely. I over drink my water today. I thought I was supposed to be doing two gallons. Apparently not. So I've already drank a gallon and a half of water today. So um, I'm holding a little extra water, which is fine. We're still, it's still Wednesday, not a big deal. Um, my fullness is coming. I'm really hard right now. My vascularity is there. Uh, I just have this like, layer of water over my stomach and abs, which honestly, not a big deal. I'm happy. All I'm worried about right now is getting as big as possible because I know I'll dry out. My conditioning is there. Like. I was conditioned like a week ago, so 
It's a matter of getting full and dialing it back down. So I'm excited, guys. I'm, things are coming together. I'm feeling really confident. And um, don't know what to say, man. It's here. It's been a, quite a journey, you guys. But appreciate you guys following along. You know, everybody that supports me, it means a lot. And uh, even for those of you guys that don't support me but are still watching my film, all these videos, you know, it's all good. Hopefully I'm able to change some of your minds at some point, but, you know, everything fuels me, you guys. Just thankful for what I got in front of me. That's it. So we are walking to get our tan right now. It's a yearly ritual. The tanning is in the arena. So all the way. That's the hotel. On the other side. And that's the arena. So we get to walk all the way over here. Double up on cardio for the day. We do a lot of walking when we're out here. We should have got one of those little uh, hover, hoverboards. We should have got one of those. That's been smart. Well, I should break my wrist or something on that before. The, the tunnel. Early going tanning at Olympia. We use Pro Tan. They right there. Us up Boom. Pro Tan. I've been using Pro Tan since day one, my very first show. And they're awesome. People are super hospitable. They love us and they do a good job and take care of us. So if you compete, use Pro Tan. <laughs> so we're just waiting to get checked in for our tanning. And then uh, I'm going to go and I can't bring you guys in there to tan with me. So. Okay. Alright, no problem. So I just got my first coat of tan done. Um, I'm just drying now, but the color looks good. Pro tan, baby. It's just nighttime, too. Not bad. So, this is one of four coats I'm getting. And then, like I said, I'm probably rinse this one off. But I'm really happy with the color. The color looks amazing. She said my body took it really well. So, we're coming, people. Slowly but surely, it's coming. And it's getting closer day by day. I'm stoked. Mm -hmm. ba, boom, <laughs> ba, do it. Hey, I mean, it's not fair, because I'm already in You're already hella so. short, so. So I'm perfect <laughs> for it. But it doesn't get much better than this. I mean, this is, this is what we work hard for every single day leading up. You know, and it's just awesome to be able to spend it with the girl that I love. Mm. So. I love you. Because I'm the best. She is the best. She is a, a rare find. And I got very, very lucky. Alright guys, so we're going to go up. I got to eat another meal. I'm hungry. Time to eat. Unfortunately, it's fish and brown rice. I don't have my grill with me. So I'm going to microwave it. And then um, eat that. And then tonight, we feast on steak and potatoes again. Tupperware. I outsmarted it and I learned to grill my food. I saw Jason doing it. He was like, you don't microwave anything? He's like, no, it tastes better on a pan. I'm like, so much better. I don't know why. I, never just thought, I was always too lazy to just wash the dishes, but it tastes way better. It tastes like it's not microwaved. Because it's not. <laughs> <laughs> So, it feels, oh, it's really man. bad. Cause with like this right here, this is what you crave. You're like, oh, this avocado looks so good. Like, who would say? What person? What normal person would be like, oh, that avocado looks so good? We're so weird. I say that. This is the, the diet life right here, and people want to do what we do until we until wait. they do it. Can we eat this avocado? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so I just got back home. It's about nine o'clock. I'm beat. It's been a long day. I've been up since six o'clock this morning, nonstop, all day long, running around. Uh, I had a good day. You know, I definitely uh, uh, I feel pretty good for being this close to the show. My energy levels weren't as bad as I thought they were gonna be, and uh, you know, we're getting better. So um, 
I got one more meal left to me. I'm gonna eat it in about an hour. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna hang out, watch some TV. Darwin's staying at her hotel tonight, so it's gonna be Concio. We're just gonna chill. Um, just have some time with myself. I haven't had any in the last few days, so I'm gonna relax and uh, enjoy myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys are enjoying watching the the step by step experience of what I'm going through for Olympia. And uh, we got a few more days left for you guys. Tomorrow's a big day. Um, I do my check-ins with the athletes. Uh, so I go get registered and everything for the show. And then we have Meet the Olympians tomorrow night, which is an event for the for the public. They're able to come out and meet all the competitors. We offer booths and they come out and take pictures of us and sign autographs or whatever. But it's a really cool time to interact with the fans. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, releasing my apparel for the first time tomorrow. So, for those of you guys who are coming out to Olympia, come by, pick up your clothes. Uh, if not, I'll have my live for you guys shortly. But again, appreciate your guys' support. Um, it's one day closer to number three, and I uh, couldn't be more grateful for the position I'm in right now. So, yeah, stay up. God bless. See you guys tomorrow.